Steel Rain 2 Summit is a sequel to Steel Rain only in name. It is uh, not a continuation of Steel Rain, which was a movie about like a North Korean coup and um, a, uh, it was about a North Korean teaming up with a South Korean to stop the coup and prevent war. Uh, so this one is very similar in terms of the same sort of tone, but all the, the cast return to play different roles. Um, so the first off, this movie's super slow. The movie's a little over two hours long and nothing really happens until 40 minutes into the movie. And we don't get our first action sequence until about an hour and a half in. So if you're not willing to sit through that, then you're not gonna enjoy the movie. The movie is basically Tom Clancy wannabe, but Korean. Uh, so our main plot is about President Han. He is invited to uh, a peace summit of sorts uh, with the Americans and the North Koreans. They're gonna have a three-way uh, signing deal to uh, get rid of all nuclear weapons. However, the American president is uh, basically a parody of Trump, played by Angus McFadden. You know, he's, he's kind of funny at first, but then he's, the shtick gets really old, to be honest. I mean, he gets really annoying. Um, and they can't communicate with each other because they all speak different languages, so it's kind of awkward. And that's kind of a drag on the plot and the movie and the pacing. Uh, however, uh, when, when the, the peace talks fall through with the president being too stubborn, he wants to not have it in North Korea, he wants to have it in America and have a big show of it. Um, obviously, the chairman for the uh, North Koreans isn't allowed to just do that. He's got to like talk to people. A uh, military coup happens, and the... Um, a faction of the North Korean military kidnap all of them and put them on a submarine. And then it turns into a high stakes sort of submarine battle. You know, who's gonna send a nuke at who? Secret plottings, you know, coups on the submarine versus, uh, you know, submarine battles with torpedoes, all, all the action stuff. So the movie uh, does have some pretty good action bits at the end of the movie, the second half. But the movie also is pretty like blunt in terms of its uh, characters in the story it's it's very like wannabe tom clancy you know like hoorah but for koreans and japanese are the bad guys this time around and china's awful and you know it's really sticks out like a sore thumb and uh you know the movie's still entertaining at least and decent visual effects but overall the movie you know it doesn't really compare to the first film so i give uh steel rain 2 summit a 5 out of 10.